Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the very common case in every application, every enterprise application, and that is nothing but the password handling. We are going to achieve the password handling use case with the help of while loop and if condition. What is this password use case? Suppose you are working in the enterprise application, uh, enterprise company, and um, you need to achieve the security. So what we use, we use a username and password concept where user has to provide the username and password. If there is a security breach happen, then we have to control that. And how can we control that? We can provide some limitations, how many times user can enter the password. For example, if user enters three times wrong password, we normally lock the user account. Or we can tell them, like, these are the number two attempt. If you attempt third, your password will be locked, something like that. So how can we handle such a password use case in Python? It's very interesting, and I'm very excited to show you this case using Python. So let's go ahead and see how to implement password use case in Python. What we need to achieve the authentication using password. We need user need user need to provide the password. We also need the password which is securely stored in some database. For example, if your password is stored in the LDAP, then we need the LDAP connection. For our today's use case, we'll not use the LDAP, we'll just hard code that password. So we'll assume that the password value, which is stored in LDAP in real time or any other authentication system. But for now, for example, we'll use this hard coded value. For example, the password value is Technoguru. What we need, we need the input password from user. So we need that variable for that, right? So for example, initially the password will not be provided. So I'll give this input uh, password is empty. And at the runtime, we'll give them option, right? So we have to at least give at least minimum three option to them to provide the password. So that means we are going to run in a loop, right? So we need the while loop condition because it's an iterative process. So what I'll do in while condition, I will check the input password is not equal to password value. So if this condition is true, then we'll ask user to provide the password. How can you use? We can use the input as a prompt and ask user to provide password. So user will enter the password and this loop will continue until this password is correct. If the input password matches with the existing or the stored password, this loop will continue. And if everything is good, means if loop is exceeded, then we'll just print login is successful. That's very simple. Let's run this program. So I'll just enter some random password. It is asking the next password and it will continue until we provide the correct password. So as soon as we provide the correct password, it the loop got break and we got the login is successful message. But in real time, we don't give them a n number of options or n number of uh, times we give the like some certain limit consider we give the limit of three so user can enter only three times if user exceeds more than three then we have to lock their account so that is the scenario right so what we need here we need how many times the user has attempted so we'll create one variable called uh, for example password attempt and we'll assign the value one because 
that is the first time they are going to enter right so whenever this application they have to provide at least once so we'll start with the attempt one we also need a variable to check whether the password is locked or not so if the attempts are more than three then we have to lock it by default it will not be locked it will be active so we'll just make it false so that because that's the reason it will password lock false means they can provide the password again now in the while loop if the input password is not matching with the, the existing password what we have to do we have to check whether the password is locked or not so that means we have to use if condition if is password locked if that is true or if that is true then what we have to do sorry um, we have to do something like this the password attempt if the password attempt is suppose less than three because we are checking the three times only right if the password attempt is less than or equal to three then of course we can allow user to provide the password because that is the limit we have else means that means the limit is exceeded what we have to do we have to lock their account or lock their password so i need to write an else block and assign the age password value as a true what we did here is we are checking the how many times user try to do the attempt to provide password if that attempt is less than or equal to three then we can provide this uh, input pop-up messages that number of time if suppose limit exceeded user provided more than three times we have to log the password right so as soon as suppose user provide the first attempt and uh, if the password does not match we have to run again so before running we have to increment this attempt right because user is going to attempt the next time so we have to increase that attempt so it will come here so attempt number two again it will provide the value that is not matching will increase attempt that is three it will become three it will compare here is attempt less than or equal to three yes then again provide the prompt we are increasing attempt it will become four it will go here and it will check is four less than three no it will just try to set is password lock true and this loop is never ending it will just continuously run i will show you that how it works so if, it, if this is my program if i run it if i pass provide password some wrong password i'm providing wrong password and it this this loop will not end this is like it will continuously run it's, so that is what happening it's never ending it's still running the program so right now i'll kill this process so if there is an icon at the red on the top it will stop this process now the process is stopped so how can we exit out of this loop in order to exit out of this loop we have to use another condition and the condition is and each password is not not means is password lock if the password is locked then we'll break the loop and the not will create means if the password lock is true then will not go inside this loop if the password lock is false right so that means user can still provide the password so not condition will actually make this value of boolean value to true if it is already false value if it is already true value then it will become false for example if the password is locked situation so if the password is locked is true it will negotiate it will make a not if the password value is matching and if the password locked is not then it will proceed so let me say how it works so if the user provides some value if it does not match with the input existing record 
and if the password is not locked means password is has the value false it will turn into true and the both the conditions are true then it will go inside this loop then it will check how many attempt user has there if this attempts are less than three then it will provide another prompt so the user can provide once user is provided it will again check whether the input password matches with the existing password if it is not true then again it will check whether the password is locked if it is not locked then it will again prompt it if it will again go for the next attempt third and let's consider the fourth attempt for fourth attempt it will check that the password values are correct if the password values are not correct or not matching it will check whether the password is locked as it is past fourth attempt the password will be locked and the the code will not be executed right so there are two situations are happening we are checking the password values are matching and we are also checking the account locked or not so that means in the response we have two responses if each password is locked then we have to print password or account is locked due to exceed in limit else means so that is one case can happen the lock locking of the account or user might have provided the correct password hence this condition will not be uh, this condition will will not be true and they it will not execute the logic so the second uh, second case will be the success case else we'll see the login is successful that's very simple if the if password is locked then we'll provide the uh, uh, lock message if the password correctly provided will provide the success message let's see how it's going to work in our program we'll just execute it user will provide password let's try this time a failure case will provide three times a wrong password and it says account is locked due to exceeds exceed in the limits now let's run one more time and this time we'll provide the correct password the correct password suppose i gave the wrong password first time so it is asking second now the second time i slightly missed so it's giving the third option and this time i'll provide the correct and we got the correct response that is login is successful so this is the way we can handle the login case so let me uh, review one more time the code so that you can understand we need to create variable for input password and existing password we need to create the attempts how many times attempt has been done and we also need to create the password lock boolean variable if the input password matches with the existing password that is success case so this loop will not be ex uh, executed it will just directly jump to this uh, if else condition and it will print the login is successful if the input password does not match with the existing password we are again checking the next condition whether the pass password is locked or the account is locked if the account is not locked that means the initial value is still there and the password is not matching will give the user will check the attempts how many attempts has done if there is less than three attempts done we'll ask user to provide the next password if the password is provided if that is not correct again we'll give them one more attempt and it, it will check that the limit three if the limit three exceeded will lock the password so that the execution of the next loop will stop so th so this each password lock condition is specifically used to lock the uh, or to the stop the loop condition so this is the break situation we try to achieve here and then we are using this variable to print the message properly on console to lo account lock due to the exit in the limit or successful login i hope this simple tutorial is helpful to how to use while loop as well as if and else condition to achieve the password use case thank you for watching this video do not forget to subscribe my channel
Thank you. Have a nice time.